A lot of times people ask me how is it that I'm able to balance work and home. I'm a mom of three, so it is very, very tough. Come and check out a typical day for me. Girls, I'm home. Whenever I come in the door, the first thing I do is hear the screams and yells from the kids. So I have to greet them and then settle them down to get them into their next activity. Hey guys! Hi! 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 Did you guys get started on your homework? Uh, yes. Okay, run upstairs. I'm gonna be right there. Okay, go. Okay. Check out what you guys are doing. Even babies are learning structure. <laughs> First question of my reading. Okay, let's take a look at it. Can you start to sound it out? On Sundays, the children usually don't have any homework, but I try to keep them in the routine of getting home and doing some schoolwork every day. So even if it's not assigned to them, we give them a little extracurricular um, learning, so extra reading or extra comprehension with math. As we all know, that practice really adds up and it helps. So what are you reading about? I sound. Items. Items. What are items? Mm -hmm. I'm re. I'm making a fortune on this book. Okay, great. I so, what did you learn in that book? And then they slide out each other's activities, and I think that they like it. Okay, uh, awesome. Yeah. Friend. Excellent. Write your summary for that story, okay? So, can you read the first question to me? What answer you pick? Where does Felix fly? So, when something catches your eye, what does it do? It pokes you in the eye. No. Like, wow, that really caught my eye. What does that mean? Get attention? Yes. So, after I get the big hits going with your homework, my next step is to focus on the baby who is almost down the stairs. So, toddlers, you have to be super quick about. You have to always keep an eye on them because they are fast and getting into trouble is the name of the game. Right, Sarai? Right? All right, so we're gonna get her active and um, not only do I focus on the big girls for schoolwork and reading, I also focus on Sarai. Also notice I haven't taken off my work clothes yet. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get you reading, okay? I know you want to color today. Do you want to color, Sarai? Circles and squares. Okay, ready? Okay, Cal is blowing bubbles in the garden. Can Cal blow a bubble? So sometimes I kind of get the baby excited about looking at books and um, playing with her blocks. And then I might kind of multitask between going back and checking the girl's homework and also watching her play. Like I said, the toddler has to be supervised because it's nothing but danger if, not, if they're not watched. So, yeah. You have to be super duper agile as a mom. Cal is blowing Ready? bubbles in the garden. Can he blow in a circle? Yes, he can. And how many bubbles did he blow? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play again. All right, girls, we gotta make our lunch. Lunch, stop, lunch, stop. It's the first loaf. I got all the loaves of bread. All right, so I want you to prepare the grilled cheeses. Okay, you, you guys. Sandwiches, okay? You guys are gonna sit down and I'm gonna take your order, okay? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, get to work. I got her. Oh, and the pasta. You look cute. Do you know what to do? Yeah. Okay, it's going. Yeah, we have to put the cheese on the on the bread, on the bread. You have to make a sandwich and then cook it. So one what cheddar, American. one cheddar, one American. So get the bread. With butter. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. You can sit down now, mommy. This is American cheese. Are you gonna have to pay attention? I'm very, very confident. Okay, so you put it like this. Okay, now. Yes, compliments to the chef, Micah. Oh, beautiful, Micah. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's go! Uh, Fine. Yes, I do. You're going to have some grilled cheese and chicken noodle soups, too. Mm. Thank you, 
God for this lunch. Thank you, God, for blessing us all this morning as we ate our breakfast and went to church. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 That was a blessed awesome. blessing. Good. Don't you write the date every day? <laughs> 2000. Mm -hmm, 2018. So as a mom and a doctor, a lot of people, as I mentioned before, really um, have questions about how I'm able to balance both. And personally for me um, and my family, I found that I haven't really found a difference, you know, from before. As I mentioned in a prior video, a teacher before I became a doctor, and I had my daughter in the fourth year of medical school. So I'm, I'm used to being a parent before, you know, kind of like after becoming a physician. Um, the transition was really easy because I um, just used to it because I've been doing it for so long. But um, in my personal life, in my family, we don't have like any outsourced um, help um, and we are very much self-sufficient. My husband helps out greatly. And here's the hubby in his usual spot by the computer, editing all the videos and knowledge guy. Mathematics and science in general is to be able to simplify. We'll put a box around 2A and 3A. And um, he brings the kids from home to school and back every day. And I go to work full time and so does he. And then when we get home, we just split the duties. So we have to, like I said, keep to a structure, keep a routine, and that really, really, really helps us to maintain some type of structure and clarity and sanity in what we're doing. I have found that, you know, a lot of times people want to like suggest that I outsource things um, like for my kids at home, like I should get a nanny or um, I should like hire someone to like help transport the kids to school or in the house. And I found that, you know, that's something that I personally don't see any utility for. I don't think that doing that will help me be a better parent. And when it all boils down to it, you can't outsource parenting. Parenting is something that is a choice. And once you choose to do that, you have to be fully committed to it. So I take pride in you know, being there for my kids and making sure that my schedule is such that I can be there for my, my kids. Anesthesia has really helped with that part. And um, you know, it's a really great opportunity to balance your work and your home life. So that's me at home with my three. If you guys have any questions, please, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time.